Roll out the dough, grab a cookie cutter and cut out the cookies. <laughs> it seems that everyone these days is a celebrity chef. But you know, kitchens are not the safest place for kids to hang out. So if you've got a budding fast Ed or Cara Martini at your place, how about making them their very own kitchen? And you might even find you've got all the ingredients you need already. Wondering what to do with that old TV cabinet now your new TV doesn't fit? Well, how about turning it into a kid's play kitchen? It is the perfect thing. It's just the right size and height for littlies. Now, I've drawn up a bit of a plan. This kitchen has got the lot. It is state of the art. So let's kick it off by taking out the glass and removing the handles. OK, now you have to put your creative head on and try and imagine this. Dishwasher and oven. Now, because dishwashers tend to open downwards, I'm moving the hinges from the side to the bottom. And so you can see cakes baking in the oven. I'm punching out the timber panelling from the middle. Ha-ha! Streamlined, integrated appliances. I love it. I'm adding some holes for my plumbing. Well, pretend plumbing anyway. Now, this will be my kitchen sink, so one nice big hole here and a smaller one at the back for the tap. You can see I am totally in to this project. I've tipped the whole unit on its back. It just makes it easier for me to access this top shelf. I'm cutting out a section so that the kids can reach in and be able to cook their dinner. I'm replacing that old glass with a much safer piece of MDF. You could use ply or whatever scrap you've got lying around for this. And what makes it so easy is I'm fixing it directly onto the face of the cabinet door, just simply using glue and nails. So we've got our pantry on one side. Now this is going to be our fridge. So I'm marking off and cutting a section at the top to be our freezer. And just to make sure it's nice and strong, I've pinched a hinge from the other side. With all of the major modifications done, it is time to pretty this up. I'm sanding just to cut through that shiny varnish and also smoothing off any rough edges. A quick coat of stain blocker will get it prepped and ready for the top coat, which in this case I'm starting with white aqua enamel. It's looking pretty good so far, but remember this is for kids, so it still does need some colour. You don't need very much. Any sample pots you have lying around in the shed will do just fine. Let's try blue for the pantry, yellow for the walls, racy red for the fridge, and my personal favourite, the stainless steel oven. Now we're cooking with gas, so let's start accessorising. So let's get this oven cranking, starting with a rack. This is simply a shop-bought cake rack, but perfect for baking little muffins on. And just to highlight what's baking, how about this? Just a little light from the hardware store. That gets stuck onto the ceiling of the oven. And don't forget some knobs for temperature control dials. These are simply painted cotton reels, and you can also write on a clock as well. A piece of clear Perspex is a safer alternative to real oven glass. For the cooktop, how about this idea? A sticky back vinyl tile. You can pick them up from the hardware store. Just pop it in place, and for the burners, just glue down four old CDs. Painted wooden handles like these make ideal stove knobs. If you pre-drill some holes and don't quite push the screws all the way home, they're still able to be turned so little hands can control the temperatures. Some glue will hold our bowl, I mean our sink, firmly in place. While a tap is just an old one I found in the shed. Well, the kids now have a sink to do their washing up. Not that they'll need it, mine, because of course they have their very own dishwasher. And for a very cute splashback, all I've done here is just taken a spare piece of MDF and glued down some scrapbooking paper. Well, there you go. Easiest splashback I ever put in. You can make a microwave out of a cardboard box covered in black contact. Now I'm just cutting out the door. Just make sure you cut it on three sides only. Fourth side will act as the hinge. Now, if you take some silver cardboard, you can find this stuff from newsagents and also some sticky numbers. They make a perfect control panel. Don't forget a handle and also a turntable for the inside. One, two, three. Now is the time to hunt around the house and just find some useful things to hold all of those kitchen utensils and other bits and bobs. It's looking good, but this kitchen is still missing something. I know. It's a view. 
How cute is this? You know, what was once an out-of-date TV cabinet has now become a super cool, fun playground for budding chefs. You won't be able to keep your kids out of this kitchen. Thank you.